Learn uh, Business update. Uh, today, I think we are we are going to showcase our Malaysia DSG Malaysia uh, business update. Yeah. So to give uh, the investor as well as shareholder a perspective of how how we uh, what we have done in Malaysia market. Yeah. And then we will finish off with the Q and A session. Uh, DSG was established as a limited company in 1994. And we have registered as DHG International Thailand Private Limited uh, in 2014. In 2006, we are listed in the Stock Exchange of Thailand. Currently, we are in uh, our corporate office is in the Region House, uh, uh, Ram, uh, Rashtamri Road, Rumpini, and our factory is in the Saraburi uh, Industrial Park. Uh, the company is also under the investment privilege of uh, BOI, guaranteed by the Thai government. DSG Group, we are a premier disposable uh, diapers company in Southeast Asia. Our 2011 revenue has uh, stood at uh, 5.7 billion baht, and our major facility is in Thailand, Malaysia, and Indonesia. In Thailand, our factory is located in Saraburi. In Malaysia, we are located in Subang. And in Indonesia, we are at a place called Chikande, west of Java. And we, we have a sales presence of over uh, eight countries across Southeast Asia uh, region. Uh, we are also being rated as strong by a Flimso's global analyst, uh, uh, analysis, uh, analyst provided by a, a global uh, analyst company. In Thailand, our Baby Love and Certainty brand is a key brand in, 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 in the in Thailand market. Baby Love basically is number two brand in the baby diapers uh, category, and we are very we are strong number one brand in term of, uh, for certainty in adult diapers category. Pepet and Bas Fifty Basic is uh, is uh, number two brands in Malaysia, and the total turno uh, total employee for DSG Group is basically about close to seven hundred staff. We, we have a major uh, presence in three major locations. In Thailand, we have Baby Love Brand, which is we participate in the premium segment. And, and we have uh, uh, introduced our Baby Love Night Pants and Night Tape in last year. And, and also we have a certainty for adult diapers. In Malaysia, basically, we have Pepet, Fitty Basic, and also, we introduced Baby Love uh, Grow Pants in, sec, uh, in the mid of last year. And we also have certainty in, uh, in adult uh, diapers category in Malaysia. In Indonesia, basically, we have 50 and uh, Baby Love for our baby diapers category and certainty for adult diapers category. In terms of revenue, basically, we are uh, in terms of uh, revenue split by country. Uh, the, the almost 95% of our revenue is actually derived from uh, Malaysia and also Thailand. With Thailand contributed uh, close to 55%, and Malaysia basically uh, contributed about 40%. And the balance is from Indonesia and also Singapore. Indonesia at this point is still uh, is still quite small. It's about close to 3%. On the revenue split by category. Uh, about 83% of our total uh, revenue is actually from baby diapers category, with 61% actually contributed from baby, uh, baby tape uh, category, and 22% from our pants category. Well, the balance of 17% of our total revenue actually uh, from adult diapers. Next, uh, I'll pass it to uh, Mr. Ambrose Chan for business performance review and our strategic focus. Thank you, Chong. I'm pleased to report right, our uh, record sales, 5.7 billion, represented about 31.5% growth versus, versus uh, previous year. And the growth rate is about twice the industry growth rate. That means right, we gained significant market share last year. And as we, uh, Ekchung has mentioned, clearly it's driven by the brand performance of Baby Love and Pet Pet in Malaysia and, and Thailand business. Certainly, uh, certainly, I think we remain the number one in the adult in continent markets in Thailand, but growing very fast in other markets as well. 
because of the flood situation affecting every walk of life uh, in Thailand in the last quarter uh, of 2011. And according to the uh, general accepted uh, accounting principle, we have to report uh, a write-off. Uh, we have to make a provision for the stock damage mainly in the uh, last quarter of last year. Therefore, the reported net profit dropped by 44.6%. And all, mo all the losses, right, are, I think, we are under uh, our company policy, which is uh, always insurance. However, we are not alone. I think probably uh, at least a million cases are right, being conducted in the country. And that the final settlement is being assessed and negotiated with the insurer. And we, we hope it will be uh, settled uh, in the coming uh, months. In addition to the flood, uh, again, I think uh, as an industry, globally, uh, we were subject to uh, fluctuating uh, raw material price uh, variants. And as most of our raw material is tied with um, raw, uh, crude oil and also the global uh, crisis like the Euro debt whatsoever also affect the supply and demands of the global commodities. And across the board, I, I think all the industry players uh, face raw material cost increase. After accounting for the flood uh, uh, reporting uh, laws, what we look at the so-called normalized Right. Without the flood effect, our revenue growth actually is about 10% over previous year, which is lower than the revenue growth. Uh, as I mentioned, is factored into the raw material cost increase, which we could not pass on the consumer. Right. The overall group performance, um, overall, over the past years, uh, we believe the group had built a solid foundation for long-term sustainable growth. We had been and will continue to invest in product innovation, driving, that is the, really the main source of growth other than geographic diversification. Last year, in the middle of last year, we introduced new products in Thailand and Malaysia which is a line extension of the night product, which is a superior product uh, to buy uh, for the consumer. In addition, in Malaysia, we roll out pens product. Grow pen is a uh, new, uh, is a pro economy pens, which, ans which answer the needs of the uh, Malaysian consumer. As, uh, we have been doing, and definitely it is a never-ending process. We have to continuously improve our supply chain process to make sure our product quality, our manufacturing efficiency, productivity keep improving. Because I think that will affect right, the profitability of our long-term business. To anticipate for the growth, uh, we had additional uh, plant facilities and capacity expansion, mainly in Thailand and Malaysia. Uh, in Thailand, we have a new warehouse uh, being constructed, and Malaysia, and a new factory also in the process uh, of uh, construction. Both faci facilities would be expected to uh, come on stream uh, sometime this year. Just a summary, right, the performance scorecard for our two key markets. Uh, you can see a, a, a consistency across both key markets. We are the farthest growth um, maker and marketer of disposable diapers in the baby segment in particular. We're growing twice as fast as the industry growth. And also in both markets, our baby uh, diapers, we are strong number two. 